now we're going to discuss how do these fibers travel from the anterior ramus to the paravertebral trunk you see the structure right here we're about to discuss the structure in detail this is a spinal cord segment right here it can be any segment t1 t2 t3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 this is the posterior root right here the posterior roots the anterior roots posterior and anterior roots this gives off a posterior branch which is known as the posterior ramus and it continues to descend further and they give rise to the anterior ramus now this anterior ramus further has some branches right here through which the preganglionic fibers they travel to the sympathetic trunk or to the paravertebral trunk so this trunk it goes on to the end of the vertebral column at ganglion impar starting from the base of the skull or base of the brain so the passage through which these preganglionic fibers they travel into the sympathetic trunk is through this small structure which you can see here and it is called as white ramus communicans white ramus communicans this is the structure right here this structure which originates from the anterior ramus it connects the trunk to the anterior ramus and is known as the white ramus communicans now the fibers present in this communicans it's called white the reason we call it white is because they are myelinated they have myelin sheath around the fibers here which makes the appearance white it appears white because of this sheath present on the fibers right here so this structure is the white ramus communicans this structure right here is white ramus communicans that is connecting the anterior ramus to the parasympathetic trunk the anterior ramus connected through white ramus communicans the preganglionic fibers that are traveling in the white ramus communicans they offer a variety of innervations in the body the first type of innervation is at the level of the origin of the preganglionic fiber please note that the white ramus communicans only gives passage for preganglionic fibers and not the postganglionic fibers right now we're talking about the innervation of the preganglionic fibers at the level of origin of the preganglionic fibers so when they travel through the white ramus communicans here they synapse in the ganglion that is associated in the trunk this after the synapse after the preganglionic fibers they synapse in the ganglion the post ganglionic fibers then they move back to the anterior ramus they move back into the anterior ramus through the second structure right here and is known as the gray ramus communicans this was 
the white ramus communicans and this structure right here is known as the gray ramus communicans gray ramus communicans the gray ramus communicans it gives passage for post ganglionic fibers and these post ganglionic fibers they move back into the anterior